Hi guys, so are you a player who gets stuck in the golf swing or trapped on the way down, causing those big blocks or hooks? Well, if that's you, this video is really going to help, so let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm and in today's video I'm going to share something that I've had some personal struggles with when it comes to the golf swing and that is getting stuck or trapped in the downswing. So this might be you or you may just be wondering what is what do you mean by getting stuck or getting trapped. So I'm just going to share exactly that. Well essentially it's when you get into the downswing and coming into impact with the club and the arms stuck in behind you and this is not a great position something I've struggled with in the past and still sometimes even now and what this tends to lead to when you're in this position here is the club coming too far then from in to out into the ball and depending on your club face it's going to either be big blocks or what a lot of players do is realize that gee this is going out to the right so last minute they give it a good old flip close that club face down and that's where you get the big snap hooks and you've got that two-way miss very difficult to play with and you just don't know which side you're going to hit it on depending on your timing with your hands for that day so i'm going to talk about how do we end up in that position in the first place and what we can do to i guess fix that so really it boils down to i mean in, in the golf swing in the back swing that's the start of it so what tends to happen for players that get stuck is in the backswing they'll actually get their arms to fall in too far behind them and when I say behind them what I mean is if you imagine the seam on your shirt there is the elbow or the trail elbow is working too far across and behind that seam on your shirt and when that happens you get in this position in the backswing very narrow and very stuck and you can only either go really over the top from there or get stuck in behind so really it starts in that backswing not a great position to be in so the first thing we want to do is check where you are in the backswing so a, a good a good sensation or, or feeling that, that that i was taught from a great coach here in perth richie smith who teaches the likes of min Wu lee some great players he spoke about it as if you're in a nightclub now, obviously you can tell by my, my hair, I'm a, I'm a bit past the nightclub age and I haven't been out drinking for a very, very long time. But if you was in a nightclub and you looked at somebody the wrong way and they came and wanted to start a fight with you and you had to try and block them, if they was coming over to punch you, how would you block them? So if you was to turn, would you block them like that? Well, not really, because if you was going to get hit and try and block someone with a lot of power, that could not only dislocate your shoulder it's not a very it's not a very strong position and that is exactly what we've just spoke about in the swing where your trail elbows come in behind that seam of your shirt so it's not a powerful position so if you was going to block somebody to come to hit you how would you do that well you'd turn and you'd be in this position everything out in front of you much more solid much more powerful ability to resist that force so from this angle bang it's there and also notice how that, that right elbow or trail elbow is now in front of that seam of that shirt there. So that's the kind of position you want to be in the backswing with the club and the arms out in front of you and not getting too far behind of you. So that's step one. Now, yes, people's bodies are very different and we've got to work with that or work around it. So oftentimes players might struggle to have the mobility in this trail shoulder to actually get in that position so that might sometimes mean that this will come out a little bit but even then if you can try and avoid getting it to come too far back this way and yes the elbows might separate a little bit more but as long as you try and be wary of it not getting too far behind you that's great something else you could do if you're struggling with mobility there is just to swing a little bit deeper here what I mean by that is hands a bit further back but again just don't allow it to come too far behind you because that's a position that you're likely to get stuck from not not ideal so that's number one check where you are in your backswing now from there let's assume you're in a pretty good position there now getting stuck in the downswing or in transition is what we're going to speak about next so there's a couple of things that, that tend to happen from there so first one is 
we'll see this quite a bit, is when the hips spin too quick from the top. So the hips just move too fast and essentially just outrace the upper body. They've gone, arms and the club is still behind. And from here, you get that action where you're just gonna have to catch up. Not very, not much shaft lean from here. You're gonna tend to get the thin shots or, or those um, thin shots or the blocks out to the right or the hooks like we mentioned before, but definitely gonna to struggle to get that shaft lean when you're back here. So we wanna be more back out in front. So that's number one, the hips tend to spin too quick. Had a client this week, a very good, very talented player, very talented golfer, who had this same issue. And so first thing we got him to do is just quieten the hips down or slow them down a little bit. So great drill you can do there, just call it the hip spin drill, is <laughs> just take your normal setup position, and just bring your trail foot back ever so slightly. So you're essentially you're just closing those hips off just that little bit. From there, when you swing to the top, instead of those hips spinning, you're just gonna try and keep those rel relatively quiet and just get the arms to come back out in front of you. Back out in front, just a couple of pumps there. And you notice how this trail elbow then has time and room to get back in front of your right hip. Now you may have seen the likes of Rory McIlroy or some of the tall players actually do a similar kind of drill to get the club in front and not get it stuck behind. And that is, you can do this at the same time, split the hands slightly from here. And again, same drill, you're just trying to pump that club back out in front of you and then swing through. So you're just getting your upper body to catch up with that lower body, keeping that club in front and then you've got a chance from there, if you go back to normal grip, a chance from there to actually get that nice shaft lean into impact instead of the hips spinning, clubbing behind and from here, nowhere to go, body stalls, arms go, there's your hook or your block from there. So that's number one, is see how your hips are working. That's a great drill there. You can start slowly, move into some swings and then eventually go and hit some balls doing the same drill. That's that one, but second to that is just understanding how that trail over wants to work in transition. So the next part is, if this is all good, another feeling you could do here to help get that trail over to work in front of your right hip is just a little supported drill here with your lead hand. So what I want you to do, just take your normal setup to get your trail hand Place it behind your, sorry, your lead hand behind your trail elbow from here. And then we'll make a swing to the top. And all the time, you're just trying to keep that in front of the seam of your shirt. So similar feeling that we had earlier, trying to block someone coming to hit you there. Same thing, but now you're actually helping support that move and support the club in this lovely position here. Now from there, you can just get that club to fall back down in front of you, keeping this here. Right elbow comes in front of the right hip there, and now you get the sensation of not being stuck. No way you're gonna get stuck from here. So that's a wonderful drill to do. Hard hit balls like that, but you can just do a few little moves, just that little supporter drill there, and then go ahead and hit a couple and try and just get that sensation of not being stuck. So once you've tried that drill a few times, my hope is that your club path starts to become a bit more neutral. And instead of getting stuck in behind here with the club coming from the inside too much and the angle of attack being a little bit shallower, going from this sort of pattern. So you see that there, the club path worked in plus 20 degrees, attack angle is actually plus six. And so that's an exaggerated version of that shot, but certainly something that can happen. So instead of that, what you'll tend to find is with that drill, hips quieting down, club coming back in front, the arms back in front, trail elbow working in front of the, the trail hip, the club path will become more neutral, your tack angle will become more down or negative, you'd hit down four or five degrees, which would be great. You get that nice ball turf interaction with the irons, and from there, and, and you will have much less flip as a result. So this will be hopefully the result. So club works in front there. Good. And then we turn through and let's see what the numbers say.
So there we go, that was it. <laughs> exactly a zero, zero, zero club path with a attack angle of minus seven. So I've really exaggerated that feeling just for the video, but that's what we'd hope to see. So there's some ideas there to help you get unstuck and not be trapped. And it's not a great feeling, not knowing where the ball's gonna go. Is it gonna go big right? Is it gonna go big left, which is, which is more of the killer shot really. That's where the doubles and triples and quadruples come in. I know from experience. So a couple of ideas there that, that may help. I do hope it helps. If you do have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.